Uh, hello friends, uh, today I am going to talk to you about uh, radioactive dating, radiocarbon dating particularly. Uh, let us start with an example. Uh, in 1960, a group of specialists from the British Museum in London investigated whether a piece of art containing the organic material found in Tutankhamun's tomb had been made during his reign or whether it belonged to an earlier period. We know that King Tut died in 1346 BC. So King Tut died in 1346 BC and ruled Egypt for 10 years. He ruled Egypt for 10 years. The question here is what percentage of the amount of carbon-14 originally contained in the object should be present in 1960, should be present in 1960 where the investigation was done if the object was made during Tutankhamun's reign. So this is a problem which the British Museum was investigating and let me show you how they used math for developing this. Uh, they started with the half-life. The half-life of the carbon-14 isotope, the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,700 years. And we have this um, uh, function A of t is equal to A0 into e to the power of minus 0 0.000. How many zeros? Three zeros. One, two, one, six. Here, A T represents the amount present at some time T. And A naught is the original amount. A naught is the original amount. First, we are going to calculate T. Now, if time T had elapsed between King Tutankhamun's death and 1960, T Total time is 1960 plus 1346. So totally 3306 years have elapsed because this is in BC, this is in AD. So that means the amount present, you have to calculate this, should be a0 into e raised to minus 0 0.0001216 multiplied with 3306. Now, when you calculate this, you get this as 0 0.66897, which is 66.897%. Now, King Tut ruled Egypt for 10 years. So, if you take 10 years, T1 can also be taken as 3306 plus another 10 years, which means 3316. Now, you substitute 3316 and find AT using the same formula. So, A0 into E to the power of minus point zero 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 one two one six multiplied with three three one six calculate this this turns out to be sixty six point eight one six so thus if the piece of art was actually made during King Tut's reign reign the percentage of carbon in 1960 should have been between 66.816 to 66.897 percent. So, the carbon dating, if when they find the carbon, amount of carbon, there are uh, methods which determine this. There are several methods available to determine how much carbon the artifact originally contained. We will talk about that in the another lecture, but as of now, know that there are methods known to find the percentage, how much originally it contained. 
So here we are calculating the original amount and we are getting 66.897% in that range. Uh, the technique of uh, carbon dating was uh, actually found by a, math, uh, a chemist called Willard Frank Libby. Willard Frank Libby. Uh, he lived uh, eight, from 1908 to 1980. He won the Nobel Prize and in fact Libby was born in the Grand Valley of Colorado in 1927. He entered the University of California at Berkeley where he earned his BSc and PhD in somewhere in 1933. Libby was a physical chemist and a specialist in radiochemistry. This part is called radiochemistry. Particularly in hot atom chemistry, tracer techniques and isotope, isotope tracer work. He became well known at the University of Chicago for his work on natural carbon-14 and its use in dating archaeological artifacts and on natural tritium and its use in hydrology and geophysics. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1960. So that was Willard Frank Libby.